Hello everyone, my name is Benedikt Meersch from the Photogrammetry and Robotics Lab at the University of Bonn. Today I would like to present our new work on maneuver-based trajectory prediction for self-driving cars using spatiotemporal convolutional networks. In order to safely navigate in an autonomous driving scenario, a vehicle needs to take into account the possible future movement of other traffic participants. The goal of our approach is to estimate the future positions of a target car depicted in black on the figure below. From this example, you can already see that other vehicles restrict the possible future movement and not all maneuvers, like for example a lane change, are likely to happen. Multiple future trajectories are possible and some examples are shown here. Our proposed method takes the local neighborhood as well as multiple future maneuvers into account. Given the past states of the target car as well as its neighboring cars, our approach first classifies a maneuver from a predefined subset of possible maneuvers. After that, we predict a future trajectory based on the past states and the estimated maneuver. The first contribution of our work is a novel input representation based on the semantic neighborhood around the target car. This allows us to encode the past states of all agents in the scene into a spatiotemporal 3D tensor. Second, we develop a convolutional network, neural network architecture to carry out the two tasks of maneuver classification and trajectory prediction based on the input tensor. In contrast to most temporal sequence prediction approaches, our method does not require the use of recurrent structures like LSTMs, which are often hard to train and suffer from slower inference time. For the proposed input representation, we first acquire the past states for all cars in the scene. The states can, for example, be x and y position, velocity and acceleration. Each image on the left represents a snapshot of the local neighborhood around the target car in black at a specific time step. We divide the neighborhood around the target car into cells, where each cell represents a semantic neighbor, like rear left, rear right, front left and front right. For each vehicle, we get a 2D map of input channels over time, indicated by the colors. We build the final 3D input tensor by stacking the 2D maps along a third spatial dimension based on the neighborhood assignment. The order of neighbors is arbitrary, but needs to be consistent throughout training and testing. Finally, our proposed neighborhood representation encodes the past states along the spatial and temporal dimension into a dense 3D tensor. This makes it possible to use spatiotemporal convolutions that jointly aggregate features from the time and the vehicle dimension. Given the proposed 3D input tensor, the first step of our prediction approach is to estimate the future maneuver of the target vehicle. We use a series of 2D convolutional layers with varying kernel sizes and dilation rates to downsample the feature maps while increasing the channel size. At the output, st uh, output stage, we use dense layers to output the estimated maneuver for each future time step. We supervise the network with a cross-entropy loss. The following trajectory regression module has a similar architecture than the presented classification part. At the first dense layer output, we concatenate the maneuvers for each future time step to guide the trajectory prediction. During training, we feed the ground truth maneuvers and during testing, we use the predictive maneuvers. The final dense layer outputs the future X and Y offsets of the target car with respect to the current location. We supervise the training with a root mean squared error loss. We demonstrate the performance of our approach on two highway datasets. NGSIM was taken on several highways in the US and HiD is recorded on German highways. We choose to model the possible maneuvers as left and right lane change as well as straight driving. To compare to other prediction methods, we anticipate the common setting of observing 3 seconds of past states to predict 5 seconds of future locations. Our first qualitative example shows the impact on the prediction induced by the no local neighborhood. The dashed red trajectory is the ground rule, whereas a solid line is our prediction. The color blue indicates that the maneuver module classifies a left lane change, whereas black means no lane change. Since there is a slower car in front of the target car, our approach successfully predicts a left lane change. 
We create a synthetic scene by deleting the car in front from the input representation. This changes the prediction of our approach to a straight driving maneuver since a lane change is no longer needed without the slower car in front. A second example shows a more crowded highway scene. The velocities of the vehicles are indicated by the length of the grey arrows. In the original scene, our method correctly predicts a straight driving maneuver, as you can see here. By removing the slower car in front, a lane change is still not favored, but the target car is no longer required to slow down. This can be seen by the longer predicted trajectory. If the rear left vehicle is removed from the input representation, the target vehicle can make a left lane change as soon as the car on the left has passed by, as predicted by our method. In this video, we can see that two fast cars occupy the middle lane, whereas the slower target car T on the rightmost lane is going to merge left between its two neighbors. As soon as the car in the rear left brakes and the front left car accelerates, our approach successfully picks up the past motion of the vehicles and estimates the left lane change. Note that this is a challenging situation since both cars on the middle lane are quite fast and there is not much space in between. The next scene shows two cars on the middle lane driving at a similar speed. The target car, T, in the back is going to accelerate and overtake. Since this behavior is not directly visible from the past states and the neighborhood configuration, our approach first predicts a straight driving maneuver and then switches to a lane change prediction shown here in blue. The next interesting scene is a right lane change depicted in green. Our method can correctly classify and predicts this behavior from the beginning. And the same applies for this car that merges back into the middle lane after overtaking the slower car. Our method correctly predicts the right lane change, but at the same time considers merging to the rightmost lane since it is not occupied. After some time, the prediction converges to a lane keeping behavior. To reason about our model's performance, we compare the results with several baselines. The metric is the root mean squared error between the predicted and the ground truth future trajectory. Our approach outperforms all other baselines uh, for both datasets. For a more detailed discussion on the quantitative results, we refer to our paper. Additionally, we carry out an ablation study to show the impact of the proposed ideas. If no maneuver classification is used as input to the regression module, the performance drops. The same applies for using a randomly sampled maneuver, which shows that our classification module enhances the quality of prediction. If no neighborhood around the target car is considered, the performance improves for earlier time steps. We hypothesize that for a short time horizon, the future trajectory of the target mainly depends on its past states and less on the neighboring cars. For larger time steps, we see a clear improvement by considering the neighborhood around the target vehicle. Finally, I would like to summarize our work on maneuver-based trajectory prediction for self-driving cars. For a given target car and its neighboring agents, our semantic neighborhood rep representation maps a sequence of past states into a dense 3D tensor. We process this spatiotemporal tensor in a 2D convolution architecture. Our network classifies a future maneuver and then predicts a corresponding trajectory. We tested the performance of our approach on two real-world highway datasets and demonstrated its effectiveness. And with this, I would like to thank you for your attention.